The TAL Barcode ActiveX Control is a software component that is designed to make it easy for programmers and database developers to add high-resolution barcode printing capabilities to their own applications and then distribute their applications to other users without having to pay any additional license fees. The TAL Barcode ActiveX Control can be used with any application that supports ActiveX components, including Microsoft Visual Studio, Internet Explorer HTML documents, and Microsoft Office applications like Word, Excel, and Access. This video is designed to show how to use the TAL Barcode ActiveX control to print barcode labels from a Microsoft Access database. To demonstrate, I will first run Microsoft Access and open a database that I created earlier. It contains a table named Products that I filled with some sample data that I want printed onto barcode labels. The Products table that I created contains two data fields named Barcode Number and Product Name. The first step to create the labels is to select the report section in the database window and click the New button. When I do this, Access will display a window containing options for how to create the report along with a list box where I can select the table or query containing the data that I want printed on the report. I will first click on the Label Wizard option and then select the table named Products. When I click the OK button, Access opens the Label Wizard where I can select the type of labels that I want to use. In this example, I will select the Avery 5163 labels, which are 2 inches tall and 4 inches wide. All of the labels listed in the wizard are standard labels that you can purchase at any office supply store and use in any laser or inkjet printer. When I click the Next button, Access will ask me to specify the font attributes for the text on the labels. I will leave the default values and click the Next button. The next step is to select the data fields from the products table that I want to appear as text in the labels. In this example, I will highlight the field named Product Name and click the arrow button to move the field onto the prototype label. Note that I did not add the barcode number field onto the label. I will add the barcode data later on. After I click the Next button, Access will ask me how to sort the data being printed on the labels. In this example, I will leave the default settings and click the Next button. In the final window, I will select Modify the Label Design so I can add the barcodes using the Report Designer. I enter a name for the report and click the Finish button. When I do this, Access will open the Report Designer window and display the report that was created by the Label Wizard. To add the barcodes, I will first open the View menu and select the Toolbox option. The Toolbox contains several built-in components like text boxes, buttons, and image boxes that I can place directly on the report surface. If you hover your mouse over the very last button in the Toolbox, you will see that it reads More Controls. And if you click on this button, a menu will appear containing a list of all of the ActiveX components that you have installed in your system. I will scroll down the list and highlight the one named TALBARCDOCX. This is the TAL Barcode ActiveX control. I will then single click my mouse inside the report at the location where I want to place the upper left corner of the barcode control. A sample barcode then appears in the report. To configure the control to work the way I want, I will click on the Properties button in the Access Toolbar to display the Properties window for the TAL Barcode ActiveX control. The Properties window contains all of the settings and options for whatever component you have selected in the report. The first property that I am going to set is the Control Source property. This tells the Barcode ActiveX control where to get the data that I want encoded in the barcodes. If I click on the drop-down list next to the Control Source property, I will see a list of all the data fields in the table that the report is based on. In this case, I will select the Barcode Number field so that the barcodes in the report will automatically obtain the data to encode from this field. Next, I will change the Symbology property to BC Code 128. This will cause the control to generate Code 128 barcodes. I will also change the Bar Height property to 750 thousandths of an inch so that the barcodes will be 3 quarters of an inch tall. To make the labels look a little nicer, I will center align the text field. I then close the Label Design window, choosing Yes to save the changes that I made to the label design. When I double-click on the report to run it, my barcode labels are produced exactly as I want with the barcodes encoding the data from the barcode number field in the Products table, along with the Product Name field appearing neatly centered above the barcodes. All that I have to do now is load my printer with Avery 5163 labels and print the report. As you can see, adding barcodes to Access Database reports is extremely easy with the TAL Barcode ActiveX control. Also, because the control creates the barcodes as high-resolution vector images, your barcodes will print perfectly no matter what printer you use.